God that been there for you. God that is for us. God that is there for us. Appreciate Him. Give that honor to Him. Give that glory to Him. Give that praise to Him. Say to Him, You are God Almighty. Say to Him, You are Jehovah God. Strength, our place of refuge. Our God, our place of power. Let's thank Him. Let's appreciate Him. From the bottom of your heart, lift a voice. Bless His holy name. From the bottom of your heart, lift a voice and just thank Him. Say to Him how wonderful you are, how glorious, how powerful you are, excellent is your name in all the earth. Let's appreciate Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Give that praise to the King. Give that honor to Jehovah God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Alpha and Omega. Thank you, Lord, the rock of ages. Thank you, Lord, our place of refuge. Thank you, Lord, our place of strength. Thank you, Lord, we honor you, Jehovah God, just honor him. Give praise to him, give honor to the king. Thank him this morning. Say, so, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I glorify you. Jehovah God, I honor you because you are great. We thank you, Lord, because you are wonderful. Excellent is you. Excellent is your name, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, we worship you. Jehovah God, we honor you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just thank him. Give the Lord the praise wherever you are. Give Jesus the honor. Give Jesus the praise. Give Jesus the honor. Lift him higher this morning. Lift Jesus higher this morning. Lift the King of Kings higher this morning. Thank him because he reigned in majesty. Glory be to El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord, our place of refuge. Our strength, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, your kingdom reign forever. Your kingdom reign forever. Your kingdom reign forever. Your kingdom reign forever. Thank you, El Shaddai, for what you are doing. Oh, God, in our life. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing, O oh God, in our own. Thank you, everlasting Father. Rock of ages, we thank you. Our God, our place of strength. Somebody thank him. Give your love for him this morning. Give your praise for him this morning. Give your love for him this morning. Give your praise for him this morning. I appreciate the king. Give your love for him this morning. Say to him, he is the Lord. Say to him, he is the king. Say to him, he is our place of refuge. Our place of strength. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, my God. Jesus, my Lord. Jesus, my King, Jesus, our God, Jesus, our Lord, thank Him, thank Him, Him. Let's thank Him, let's thank Him. Thank the Lord, Jehovah God, we thank you. Jehovah God, we worship you. Jehovah God, we honor you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the King. Blessed be the name of Jehovah God. Blessed be the name of El Shaddai. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jehovah God, we thank you. 
Oh, we thank you, Lord. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we honor your name. Jesus, worship him from your heart. Let the name of Jehovah God be praised. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord El Shaddai. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Emmanuel. Just thank him. Father, we thank you. I am excellent. Tis an Yeah. 
will lift our voice in praise to you. Our place of strength, we thank you, Lord. Our God, Emmanuel, we honor your name. We honor your name. We bless your name, O God. Somebody thank him. Lift the voice, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord Jesus, we appreciate you. 
Jesus, we return all the glory back to you. Oh, Jesus, we return all the praise back to you. That no man should give glory to himself, but glory to his name. That no man should give glory to himself, but glory to him. That no man should give glory to himself, but glory to El Shaddai. That no man should give glory to himself. Worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Worship the El Shaddai. Thank him, bless him. Glorify the King. Worship Jehovah God. Bless his holy name. Thank him for the grace of the mercy of God. Thank him for the love of Jehovah God. Thank him for the spirit of El Shaddai. Somebody appreciate him. Give that honor to the King. Give that praise to El Shaddai. Jesus, we honor you. You are great. You are kind. Worship him. No matter, thank him in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. No matter our situation. No matter what you want to say. No matter what you are passing through. Do you know Jesus Christ deserves all the praise from you? No matter whatever thing that you want to say this morning I'm passing through. Um, no matter what is going on in my life, no matter what I want to say, this is happening to me. I want you to know that Jesus Christ deserves all the praise. He told you that even though no matter the issue, He's not still telling us to come with our complaint to Him. Today He wants us to talk to Him about it, but He wants us to come with the thanksgiving. Ah, but ah, Pastor, but this part, you still want it, that thanksgiving. Because when you look at your life and count the blessing, no matter what, you still see God is still good. Let everyone begin to, I know you are trusting God. I don't know what you are believing God for. Whether you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, say, God, I've been waiting just to carry my own child all this while. But when you think about it, begin to count God's blessing, do you know you have a reason to thank Him? Every one of us this morning, we have a reason of thanking God. Why? Because we look, there's a, He's been good in one way or the other in your life. You have the privilege where others don't have. So He's been good to you. So you know, God is going to beat everyone down in our argument. There's no argument before the Lord. There's no, that's why I love that song. There's no place for argument. You are the Lord. There's no place for argument. No matter what you have been through, no matter your situation in life, when you still look back, you say, Oh, you see, if you go before God, you say, Oh, because you don't do this for me. You don't do this for me. Okay, don't worry. And go call somebody else. Come, can you come, please? What is happening to you? Uh, I don't have this. this. Did this happen to you? Oh, you say no. Oh, okay. What about you? Choose that to happen to you. How do you feel? So we still have a reason to thank the Lord in all our ways. You still have a reason to thank the Lord. You are alive. Well, that's one thing I want you to know. You are alive, not only that. You are alive in your right mind. They know when people are not in their right mind. They are even with their life. I can say they are no more. Because you can't do anything by yourself. You are controlled. Some people are chained down. Some people, their life have messed up. Their dreams are finished. God has given you the grace. So you have every one of us, no matter what you want to say this morning, there's a reason, in one way or the other, to say thank you to God. I want you to say to him right now, I thank you, Jehovah God. Lift a voice from the bottom of your heart. Let it show appreciation to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's show that appreciation to our God that has been faithful in all His way, that is kind, that is so precious. Oh, me kalia no so niyama poro se kelia jagado oriyama oba ushagaya wa 
Lift your voice and give that honor to the king. Lift your voice and bless the one that is with you. Lift your voice and bless his holy name. Lift your voice, bless him. Thank Jesus from your heart. Bless his holy name. Jesus, we thank you. We honor that name that is above every other name. I worship you. Thank you, good God. Thank you, righteous God. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Let us begin to ask the Lord to forgive every sin. He said, with him, there is forgiveness from the Lord. With God, there is forgiveness. With God, there is forgiveness. No matter your sin, no matter how big your sin, no matter who you are, Hallelujah. No matter, no matter, no matter. You know, you know. I, I don't like to get into arguments when people talk. You know, but sometimes you know, they say some songs. One song say, "God do not look at what you are doing, but He's taking care of you." Is it's true? No matter what it is, it's true. Why? The Scripture says, "If God should mark iniquity." Who we stand. So I know some argument on that song. Some say no. Um, but if you look at the scripture, scripture judge. He said, if God look at your sin, God don't look at your sin, but he's still taking care of you. It's true. It's true. You don't know yet. Is anyone perfect? Bible says no one. There's no one. What is speaking there is the mercy of God. That shows the mercy of God over our life. That shows the mercy of God over you. Hallelujah. Is anyone can say, now nah, I'm so good. And so because of your goodness, God is blessing you because you are so perfect. That's why God is, if God should mark iniquity. That's what the fact is scripture. If God does it, God, if God, that's what. That's that. If God should mark iniquity now. If God should mark iniquity, then that's what it is. So now if God is not marking iniquity, though he's still blessing you, he's still protecting you, he's still securing your life. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, I acknowledge my sin. But no matter what it is, God still wants a sinner to acknowledge his sin. God is still wants to repent, he still wants us to repent of our sin. He still wants us to take his grace. It to take the grace uh, for granted, even though we are under the grace of Him, the grace of the Lord covers our life. But if we grace given to us, we appreciate the gift of that grace. He said, We are saved not by works, that no one, oh, listen very well, that no one should boast, not because I'm perfect, not because of you are good. No, He said, That no one, I mean, if you are not saved by grace, we can boast to God. So that's why I'm, I'm, not, I'm never committing. I live my life in the way if what people are doing, I'm not doing it. Everyone will boast. He said, but we are bad. But I'm saving you. Grace cover you so that you will not come to me because of what you are doing. That's why you are saying, lift your voice up and let your sin before you, my God. Say, Lord, I am a sinner. I've sinned against your word. I have sinned against you. Father, forgive me of my sin. I acknowledge myself. That prodigal son, acknowledge when Bible says when he came to his senses. That means he acknowledged the person of him. When he came into his senses, say, Father, let me come to my senses today and let the change of heart in the Abrado Sikiaba upon to me. Repertoria Nanedia Boca let a change of heart happen to me. Le prondo suko toliama. Le prondo shikiabo. Let a change of heart happen to me. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Let a change of heart. Ikadoliama upon the malai. Give me a true repentant heart. Let me forsake my sin, O God. 
Itaroshikaba. Father, I agree with you. I have seen it. I am not worthy to come before you this morning. Mokorab have no right of coming. Batoria, I have no right of calling you. I have no right of coming near. But I am asking for your mercy. I'm asking for your forgiveness. I'm asking for your spirit. I'm asking for your grace in my life, in my heart. Ekotoya mama, in my heart. Leprono segeon, in my heart. To forgive, to cleanse me in the name of Jesus. To wash me, to purify my heart, my life. Thank you, righteous man. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. I want to begin to ask the Spirit of God to come upon you right now. Because even though you keep on, if the Spirit don't come, you will just keep on, you will keep on asking for forgiveness. Truly, you will have to at all time. But, but the Spirit of God can give us the power over, over every besetting sin. You know, He can give us that power. The Spirit of God can rest on us. That's why He told Peter, until you get the power, Oh, and so the journey, you know, the journey of uh, with God, the cross, is is by the power of God. There is no way you can do it. I want you to know that. Stop struggling. Let's just surrender ourselves to Jesus under His power. He knew that you cannot do it by your own strength. He knows that. So I'm, I'm going. No, no, no. There's no way you can do it. There's no way you can live holy life. Without the power of God, there's no way you can steer, yeah, there's no way you can serve the Lord. That's why keep on put your strength, let the strength of Him come. There's no way you can be a loving person without the Spirit of Him. You know, the Spirit of God, there's no way you can serve God without Him. You cannot obey the Scripture. There is too much. Hallelujah. In this day, this word, as this word is going. Tell the Lord, but when the power of God comes, it open your eyes, it release understanding to you. You're able to have the knowledge of what He's saying. You will interpret the clarity of the word of God to your life. Lift your voice and say, Father, I need your Holy Spirit this morning. I need your Holy Spirit this morning. Holy Spirit of God, like a mighty rush of wings, rest on me. Like that day of Pentecost, that day that you fill the earth, fill me once again. Lift the voice and pray, refill me, Holy Spirit of God. That's why you can have victory over your enemies. That's why the bondage can be loosed. That's why that covenant can be cancelled through, through Holy Spirit to rebut your heart, to rebut your word. Holy Spirit of God, come and fill me. My heart is available. My life is available. Come and occupy me. Come and dwell in me. Come and empower me to walk a righteous walk, a faithful work, a holy work with you. Rapatoli amako shatayaba. Lateli amako satayaba. Somebody pray for Holy Spirit for you to live a life of victory. That will not be a victim to your enemies. That will not be a victim to situation. That will not be a victim to circumstances. That will not be a victim to things that surround me. Can you lift your voice to El Shaddai? You will need the Holy Spirit of God. Empower my dream. Empower my life. To break every satanic yoke. To come out victorious this morning. Somebody pray for the Holy Spirit of God. To fill your heart. To occupy you, a Catolia Nanama, to come, a Cabaro Sicalia, Holy Spirit of God, empower me, set me on fire for you, give me the spirit of boldness, give me the spirit of love, to love you more than anything, to surrender to your will, Le Paro Sata, to the Yena Andayabo, Le Prondo Sicayaba, Mokoria Mako Paro. Le pora bakando yaba, le brondo soko bro, le brondo shikaya. Holy Spirit of God, mayali alia, 
Wayanda ya mako pe le sondo ya ba la kenya ya kanya le sondo ya ba open your heart to pray holy spirit come in your power refresh me refresh my heart again somebody pray le ora petelia le sondo ya ba la kondo ya mako ta holy spirit of god occupy your people this morning Holy Spirit of God, fill their heart, fill their spirit, fill their home in the name of Jesus. Pray for that power, pray for that power. In the name of Jesus. So I'll be victorious in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, come and fill me in that to break every yoke, to open my heart in the name of Jesus. Ikarosika, pray for that power. Matoli ama kusoto ya le prendo si kelewo open your heart and pray le pray the deka I said that's the key to survive that's the key to have victory le pour inanda ito yando ya makushe kelewa mukuri ama kuperosa le deli adagala iko roba kata ika kaya la ba asia Holy Spirit of God open your heart to God right now come and feel your people. In the name of Jesus, that every pain, every pain disappear. Holy Spirit, come and feel to bring healing. That every stomach pain, yeketoriana, be removed now. Holy Spirit of God, la keliana, my kotoriana kusotia, le prondo si ketelia, robo kubilirelia, oye detalia. Holy Spirit of God, come and feel my heart. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Open your heart to God, say, Daddy, in your power, touch me this morning. In your power, touch me this morning. God is too much for all just to show up in His presence without experiencing His power. He said, I'm God of all flesh. So God is too much. I know many things hold us back. For all not to see the ends in our life. See that he taught me your power this way. That he knows, even he knows deep things of your life that more than you. I don't know whether many of us agree that even though God knows you is your life, right? I don't know many of us who agree that even though it is your life, do you know that God knows better than your life? How many of you agree with me? Say yes. Say Pastor, I don't agree. It's okay, no problem. Hallelujah. We are learning. Hallelujah. Do you know that God himself knows more than your life, you yourself. Your, is, your, is my life. I want to say to the account, this is in my life, that's how, if I also break that one down also, it's okay. Today, it's not your life also. Because if something, if something can be taken away from you, it's not yours. But let us, for, for argument's sake, let me just say, it's my life. I mean, you know, I will do whatever I want. Uh, yeah, let me just, for argument's sake, let us leave it to that, based on that one. So let us don't break it down. Say, you know, it's not your life. If somebody can be, something can be taken away from you, it's not yours. Hallelujah. I mean, you don't have permanent say on it. You don't have total say on it. Hallelujah. But how many of you do you agree? Say yes. I want you to type yes. I don't know. Because you are not here. I know you are here. You say yes. How many of you agree with me? See, that God knows better. He knows more than what you know about yourself. I've never said anyone say yes. I've never said type. You just type. Communicate with me. Talk to me. How many of you? And Yes, okay. I see some people. Okay, yeah, okay, yes, okay. So God knows. Sometimes we think God don't knows anything. You know what I'm going through. He knows what you are going through. God, do you see me? You know where you are. He knows deeper than where you are. He knows the thought beyond your thought. He knows it. So He knows about your life. He knows deep things about you. Down. The person of you. Hallelujah. He knows the person of you. He knows your position. He knows things about to happen. 
So he knows the thought. Listen, God knows the thought of the heart of man. That's why God don't deal with, uh, you know, man can deal with appearance with all what you see. That's why God deals with everything in your heart. That's why God deals with things that come from the heart. You can see someone with his, no, this person like when they ate Sam, Samuel want to anoint the son of Jesse. You look at that one and say, oh, this one is so good. Say, God, you are looking at, don't look at that. Look into the, God looks into the heart. Because from the heart, every issue flow. Everything comes from your heart. Every action of a man is from your heart. If I, I don't ever think about it. You think when you act on it, there's a thought. There's a thought behind every action. Hallelujah. Every action in life, there's a thought behind it. And that thought is that what God is looking for. This morning, you are joining the prayer line this morning. You are praying this morning. There's a thought behind. You can't just I click it. I just uh, you know, I, you know, I just notification and I click on the notification, but I don't mean to do anything. No, there's a thought behind that very action of clicking that prayer for you to join. And that what God sees, He knows the thought of art of a man, even the deep things of God. He knows everything about your life. Lift your voice and say, let the power of you God touch my life. You know what I need. Let the power of you God touch my life. Let the power of you God say to my case. This morning, I don't know where you are. I don't know you probably be in another country where I am. Ropo from where I am. Le prondo shikayadaba. But the power of God can still touch you. Iko rabakataya. Everyone can still say to that very case this morning. Say, Father, this morning, let the power of your God Touch my life. Say, Father, let the power of your God touch my life. Open your heart and pray. Say, Father, let the power of you, Jehovah God, touch my life. Father, let the power of your God touch my life. Jehovah God, let the power of you set to their case this morning. Let the power of you set to their dream this morning. Let the power of you, God, at the point of their needs, at the point of their life, at the point of their needs. Let the power of you, God, set to it. Let the power of you, God, manifest at the point of their needs, O God. Let their case be set to somebody in prayer, prayer. Let the power of God to set to your very case this morning. Let the power of God to set to your life this morning. Let the power of God to set to your dream this morning. In the name of Jesus, let the power of you set to work to release the blessing, to release the favor, to release the glory, to release their joy, to give them a turnaround. Open your heart to pray. Pray and ask Jesus, lift your voice to El Shaddai. Let the power of your God set to my case. Let the power of your God, in the name of Jesus, break the oath. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, tell the Lord that He bring an end to my suffering. You know, Bible talks about that woman. She has been all over. Bible talks about Bartholomew. He is a beggar because he has no way that he can see to eat. You know, so he was just begging. Hallelujah! But at one day. The, the battle comes to an end. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know what you have been crying before the Lord. I don't know what has been a tears. I don't know what has been a fear. I don't know what has been something you can't share. I don't know what has been that you are afraid of. I don't know that very thing. Lift your voice and pray. This morning, Holy Spirit of God said to it. He has the power to eat. That's why he told us to pray. So he can set too many things in our life. So he can remove many things in our life. So he can help us. Holy Spirit of God, set to it. In the name of Jesus, set to my disappointment. Set to my delay. Set to my deny. This morning, that's why I call upon you. 
Ikarabadayaba. Open your heart to God. Say to that disappointment in my life. And I have a baba. Lambrono Sikeleva. Ropakata Kaba. Makoya Makada. Lambrono Sikaba. In the life of Bolo Afemi right now. Ripotoria Makosa. Rapenda Makata. Holy Spirit of God. Say to it. Holy Spirit of God. Say to it. Lepronto Sikaba. In my life. Say to it. In the life of my children. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and pray to God that God should say to it in the name of Jesus. My very case in the name of Jesus. That disappointment in my life, that delay in my life, in command that failure, open your heart and pray. Jehovah God, pray that God should say to it no matter what. Open your heart to God. Say to it, say to it, say to it, O God. Say to it, O God. Mayantoria Makoso Toliaba, Le Prondo Suko Telia, Repotolia Makoso Keliaba, La Prondo Sikelebo, Bakelia Mako Prandaka, Le Koro Musikelebo, Pray, pray and talk to God. Open your heart to God. Lift your voice to Jesus. Pray and ask Him that Lord should say to Him, Say to my very case this morning, release the blessing. Open your heart to Jesus. Pray and ask the Lord, my Father and my King, let my case be settled in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Put a fight against every power that say no, it's not going to be settled. That's why the Bible told us this, this war is a fight. It's a fight. But the victory only comes from God. That's the only thing that. This life is a battle. Hallelujah. This life is a battle. I want you to know that if you think life is not a battle, you are, you are not prepared already. This life is a battle. Who are you battling with? Satan. Why? Because you are, number one, you are created in the image of God. He hated you for that. Because when God created us, he to reign over him. That's the purpose God created Adam. He sent Satan out of heaven. And after he sent Satan out, he, he looked what can I do for him to humble Satan to badly, to humiliate him totally. Because he wants to put his glory. He wants to put his throne with God. And God said, What can I do? He created the man lower than angel. He had, and he has given everything to him. To reign. So God created a man. Lower than the angel. Remember, go and look at that scripture. Lower than the angel. And he has given to all things to him. What a man. That you are mindful of him. So God created man to reign over Satan. So I, he sent him out of heaven. And also, where I'm saying, no, a man also going to reign over you too. He's going to be in charge. And God gave a dominion to a man. So that's why they begin the fight right there. Eh, you create a man to reign over me. But unfortunately, a man gave the power up to him. By doing the same sin. The same sin that Satan committed. Also, the same sin that Satan committed. The same sin. They want to be like God, and they're like God already. The same sin, just the same thing. Look at the scripture of the world. The same sin, a pride art. It's a pride. For Adam to want to be like God, to if you eat, you know that God know that if you eat this food, you go to be like God. You will know between good and bad. And I believe that yeah, we know the bit between good and bad because I believe God wants a man to be in a conscious state of being good. I mean, the only thing they know is good. Because I believe it's only God that can handle being good, to know good and bad and still be God. I believe so. That it's only God that can know to be good and to know to be bad and also being God. A man cannot handle it. That's why all evil all over. That's why we question why this word so wicked. Because we have put our hand is what we don't have the capacity to handle. 
we we have put our hand in things we cannot undo and and brought chaos on this earth for us. That's why trouble all over because we have put our hand, you know, be, you know, to have to know good and bad. And many people able to carry evil. Only thing that they, when they know good, they don't do good. The evil they know is what they want to do. We have the ability to know the good and bad. Once we have eaten the fruit, there is a knowledge. We have that knowledge. Oh, that's why they say to them, my eyes, their eyes were open. Their eyes was open to say to something else that God has not given them. The eyes is it where is it when I hear your voice and I was afraid? Is it why you are afraid? God knew right away something has happened. He knew even though without explain, he asked, Have you eaten the tree? He knew that something has happened to them. Because in the conscious state they has put them, if I don't know more there, they have moved from that place to something else. The eyes was open to know what is good. Oh, he said, we are naked. So, not being, being naked is not something good. It's not something, it's something bad. For someone to be naked, you know, how do you know, explain yourself, you will not, your life will not be naked. You know, if somebody walking without a clothing here, you will know, <laughs> you know, you know, hallelujah. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. For someone to be walking in the street, that shows nakedness is not something good. So right away, the conscious of Imba, the eyes were open to it. And God to them, uh, he knew right away what has happened to them. And this is mean that love of God. The love of God, God knew that it's going to happen to them. So Jesus was preparing himself for it. He knew. He said, Jesus Christ was slave on the foundation of the world. Before he, that thing took place in the Garden of Adam, in Eden, Jesus Christ had positioned himself for it. Because God is of all men. Jesus was slain for that position. What is going to happen every day? He knew what is going to happen. That they are going to eat it. They will fail. the test also. But he positioned himself to give himself for it. Hallelujah. That animal that was slain for them, that is shed, is a metaph is a, is, is a, what is about to come. It's a foreshadow of what is about to come. Jesus took an animal and killed it for them and covered them. The blood was shed for them to cover them. But one day, God don't want them to remain in the state of their sin and they send them out quickly. Like Satan. You know, like Satan remain in the state of his sin. God send them out quickly so they will not eat. And they don't think of eating the tree of life. They're taking what God told them not to eat. Now, things that God told us is a contention with God. There's a tree of life there. They are not taking of eating that. And God said, look, I don't want them to remain like that forever. So there will not be a redemption for them anymore. Quickly, he sent them out. Out of the place. Because there is a tree of life there. Once they eat that tree, they remain there forever in a state of our sin. But thank God, Jesus, there's a good news for you this morning. Jesus Christ, he paid the price for your life. That's why you surrender yourself to him. He gave himself so that you may have life, so that we may return back to war. That's why he said, I am the only way, the truth, and the life of God. Today, the grace will find you. Can I hear that amen very loud? That, that grace of God will find you. That grace of God will locate you. That mercy of God will find you. Where am I going? I said, the life is a battle. Hallelujah. Say that it gave me victory over every battle of my life. Life is a battle. That's why he said, put on. If it's not a battle, he will not tell you to put on the armor of God. Tell the Lord, give me victory. I need that victory right now. Lekeli ananama osakoli amakosata. Bokoli ama ushekeli amakusatea. Open your heart and pray. Le prodo sike delima. Pray for the victory of God. Open your heart to Jesus. Le prodo sike delima kusekea. Open your heart. Give me victory over the struggle. We give me victory over every power contending without your glory. Over every power that say no, it is not going to be possible that you will carry your child. Over every negative confession over your life. 
Over every negative declaration in the name of Jesus. Over every evil assignment over my life. Open your heart and pray. Pray because Jesus is my shield, my place of strength and power. Open your heart to God. Victory this morning. Sunday. In Jesus' name, we pray somebody to this prayer. I know when I say somebody, that means I'm talking to somebody. If I've been coming on this prayer line, if I say somebody to you, that means I'm saying something. Say, Lord, remove disappointment in my life as today. Where hope? You have hope or many things. Ah, it's going to happen. They will give me. And now, um, hello, we are sorry. Um, we find somebody else. Where things you have put your own. Oh, they said this year is my year. And it has disappointment show. So that he let disappointment remove totally far from me, from my life. Disappointment as on today, I cross you today in the name of Jesus. No more that you happen in my life anymore. He said you will decree that very thing. The Bible says that very thing will have, that very thing will be established. Somebody lift your voice and say, Lord, the yoke of disappointment, the yoke of disappointment, when they talk, is my turn. And it never happened. When you say, no, they're going to give me. It never happened. When you say, I'm moving forward. It never happened. Say, disappointment, I break the yoke today by the power of the Lord. The yoke of disappointment in my marriage, the result yoke of disappointment in my life. Somebody pray, disappointment of great things, Open your heart to Jesus. That Lord Jehovah God begin to break the yoke of disappointment in your life. Ya kotolia nana makopo rubaga. Le kotolia nana makusheke yaba. La kere bagala bagala. La mprondo zekele bagala. La saida. Why makali masaida. Why makali masaida. Why makali masaida. Hili ya makoli ya maka. Le sendu liwa oshatea. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. There's somebody here this morning. Eh, you know, many of us in Africa, we are different background, but we thank Jesus for redeeming our family for many things. Hallelujah. Thank Jesus for redeeming our family. You know, some people, you know, don't let me go them to the You know, thank Jesus for redeeming our family. Um, for many things, you are from this family where they there's masculine. You know, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. There's a you are from that area. Let me see. Hallelujah. In that language, whether you understand very well for those that can understand what I'm talking about. But today, let that kid over your life be over in Jesus' name. Let that yoke that hold you, that hold you, that hold you, that power that hold you, that power, that's why you have declared you have never been part of it. That power that hold you because you have declared your confession unto Jesus. Let the host of heaven begin to fight your battle. Because you have declared your confession to Jesus, let your struggle be over. Because you have declared your confession to Jesus, and I know I want, you to, I want you to declare it with your true heart. Our confession for the Lord. In any area that the devil is oppressing you, in any area that is oppressing your family, in any area that is oppressing your life, let that yoke break now. Break in your life. Break in your family. Break in every area of life. In any area that the devil is oppressing you, let that yoke break break in that you will not be tormented anymore. Can I hear that? Amen. In the name of Jesus. No more. 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 No more in the name of Jesus. No more that devil hold you down. No more you are possessed by the blood. You are being redeemed by the power of God. You are free from struggle. You are free from disappointment. In the name of Jesus. You are free from barrenness. Ika Ika, enter your place of right. 
Ikayara your position in Christ. Ikababo Sotoyala. You are victorious. No more evil. No more disappointment in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, good God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say, Lord, make the impossibility possible quickly for me. I want to glorify you. Is that the reason? Say, yeah, tell him, Lord, make the impossibility possible for me. That disappointment, let it be over. Disappointment at the end of success. At, at, you know, some people experience failure at the end of success. Oh, they're about to, they're about to. And what will happen again? Oh, I'm sorry. Today, no more in your life. Today, no more in the life of your children. All what you aim for to have, heaven will use to you. Because you have made Jesus to be the refuge of your life. Because you have made the Lord to be the refuge of your life. You have come back in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. No more disappointment in my life. No more disappointment in my home. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice to God. That no more disappointment. No more disappointment. No more disappointment. Lift your voice to him. No more disappointment in your marriage. No more disappointment. No more in this year. No more that you experience it. All what I pray for, let it manifest. All what I believe God, let it come to pass. Possible. Impossibility be over. Failure be over. Sickness be over. Barrenness be over. Delay be over. In Jesus' name. Oh, but you know all those things are spirit also. There's a spirit of delay. Spirit of disappointment. All those things is a spirit that enter into the love of man. That holds somebody down. But one thing I want you to do, there's a spirit of God that can break the yoke. You see, the yokes are broken because of the anointing. What anointing? The anointing of the pastor? No. Not my anointing. The anointing of Jesus. That is his name. Jesus. Do you know Jesus Christ? The anointed one. Do you know that what the Christ means? The anointed one. Jesus. The anointed one. You know, Jesus. Christ there. The anointed means the anointed, the Christ, Jesus Christ, is it Christ, the anointed, the one that, an, that has been anointed to break the yoke of your life. That's what it is, not the anointing of me. Not, come on. It's the anointing of that one, Jesus Christ. Yoke are removed because of the anointing, anointing of Jesus. Everything from Genesis to Revelation is pointing to just one man. From Genesis to Revelation is just one man or in it is Jesus. Everything there is pointing. The Israel is pointing to Jesus. Everything is about Jesus. Because he's the Savior himself. Jesus and Mashiach, the Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus is the Savior. You know, sometimes you know that Jesus Christ also you can say Joshua, Joshua, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. So everything is pointing to Him to save you. Today, the anointing of that Jesus Christ—that is the name of Him. The anointing in His presence of Jesus Christ, because He has declared when two or three gather together, the anointing in His name, the anointing in His word. Say, call upon me, I will answer. Ask, and whatever you ask the Father, in my name, shall be given to you. So the name, so the Son be glorified. Today, that anointing in that name of Jesus, break the yoke of the name, break the yoke of failure, break the yoke of sickness, break the yoke of disappointment in your life. Break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke, break the yoke. Break the yoke in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't want a shout alone, but I want Paul said, I'm not yet just to preach to you. But to let you know to demonstrate the power of God. I'm not just to say Jesus can save, but also you see that Jesus save. I'm not just to say Jesus can heal, but also that you see Jesus healed. I'm not just to say Jesus can do it. 
ili ya makoni ya makasa that's what he say i'm shinde kapere i'm just to see for to see jesus is really be robi nene mo obraga le shundo ya nada jesus of yesterday and of today and forever let me show yourself your life stronger than your battle stronger than your disappointment stronger than your day every flood of enemy will not swallow you e kapada ya nada no will remove your reproach that Lord God of heaven will remove your reproach that God of heaven will remove your, remove your reproach every reproach of your life every reproach of your children every reproach of your marriage every remove it now that Jesus Christ that you have made the sheet of your life let it cover you let it cover your needs let it cover your life this morning you don't have to wait tomorrow for you to experience the miracle that you are looking for Do you think I have to go and fast it again? Do you think I have to do? Jesus Christ can say to it once and for all. I have never seen anyone that I went to him in his day and said, "Come back." I have never seen anyone that brought them with their faith when he asked them, "Do you believe?" And their faith connect with his faith, and that's what happened. If your faith don't connect, nothing will happen. That's your faith has a place. It has a role to play. In getting your miracle, I want you to know that. Oh, this is a pastor is a big man of God. You no, know, if your faith is not with nothing, with nothing, nothing. But when your faith spark, I believe Jesus. This is my hour. So this will happen. When your faith, so faith is needed in you also, for you to get your miracle. It's not about oh, I'm looking for his own like that. No. If you don't have faith, nothing, nothing. I pray today, may you receive your miracle. That years of your waiting, let everyone return back to you. Your years of denial, let everyone return back to you. Your years that you have been delayed, let everyone return back to you. Your years that you have been denied, your years of waiting, let everyone return back to you. Your years, moka baka da. Le prondo shikiyaka because you have made the Lord. Psalm first Psalm second Psalm twenty two. He said, "I say the Lord is my rock, my fortress, my deliverer." Hallelujah! The Lord God is my rock. In Him I will trust. He is my shield, the horn of my salvation, my high tower, my refuge, my savior. Do he save me from the enemies? Hallelujah! Today, that Lord from the violent ones, He save you from the violent. Today, that Lord that is your rock, that Lord that save you, He will save you. That Lord that save David, He will save you. Today, He will deliver you. That yoke of delay, that years of disappointment, that years you have been trusting God for the fruit of your womb is over. Let heaven connect you. Let heaven perform His word. Let miracle happen. May you return with a testimony in the name of Jesus. Power that is contending with you fell in the name of Jesus. Go from glory to glory in Jesus' name. Our rock, we pray. Amen. Can I hear that? Amen. Ask God for what you need this morning. Ask God for what you need. You don't stop to ask. He said, "Ask until your joy." He said, "With thanks given." After you ask, you give thanks. I thank you. He said, "Let your request be known again to Him." You see, the only thing that God Himself we answer to it. We give thanks to Him and begin to say, "Lord, I thank you." If you want to give thanks, give thanks. I am going to receive my. God. I will carry my baby. I will receive my papers. I don't know what you trust God for. My, I will have financial breakthrough. You will give me rest. You want to have your own business. Is that what you are praying for? Let you want to just to have your own. Let everyone establish you, establish your business for you, establish your business and make that business to be giant. Repart the grace and the wisdom. Let everyone release to you. Go from strength to strength. Every trap of enemy is over. Every disappointment, every trap of evil one, every trap of darkness in your, in your life is over. So shall it be. Thank you, blessed Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Father, I come out of the blood of Jesus. 
I say to the water, let your people receive healing. To the water, let your people receive deliverance. To the power, I kapara badaya. To them that trust God for the food of the womb, open their womb, O God. Answer to this request, O God. You have said it that no one shall be buried in your house. Every spirit of barrenness, every spirit of delay, break in Jesus' name. Let your people return with a great testimony. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done this morning. And your name alone shall be glorified. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We are put in mind that the prayer continues in the evening by 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, in your by section, you know, but also everyone can join. Everybody said, can join. To, today, I pray that you will go with good things in your life in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace of the grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and for more. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall do it as of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shout hallelujah for your good news. Shout hallelujah for your good news. And shout hallelujah for your good news. Say, I say, shout hallelujah for your good news. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You are shouting that hallelujah. You are telling you are thanking him for that good news. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah for my good news. Hallelujah for my good news. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. God bless you. See you later on in the evening. Bye-bye.